皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have Tonko. Hello. And also Kazu with me today. Hi. So today, guys, we're going to be taking you here to Nijou Jinya, which is a 350 year old samurai mansion that was used to be used as a samurai hotel. In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So, if you're a Kyoto lover plan to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Nijou Jinya is a mansion which was built in the late Edo period and is located near Nijou Castle. Throughout the few centuries of its history, this building has changed its function from a venue to an inn, a trading merchant office, and a guest house. Today, we will have Ogawa san, the current owner of the mansion, show us the inside of the building. Please be aware that the tour is only available in Japanese, so if you want exclamations in your language, you will need an interpreter. Ogawa Shi, the original owner of the mansion, was working as a lawyer handling trials related to lending and borrowing money. I guess this job possibly made a few enemies. The whole mansion has been designed like a ninja trick house for Ogawashi to protect himself, for those who may have any grudges against him. Interesting, isn't it? Let's find out what the first trick is. <笑>あの、これを預ける部屋です。やりを預けたら中には音をします。っていうことですね。はい。で、このとこちょっと進むともうすぐ、ぎしぎしぎしぎし出す。これはあのまあ、わざと音が鳴るようになってる。鳴り
The first is that the honor floor is partially empty. In no theater, there is a technique in which you stomp the floor, and this structure amplifies the sound. The second is the design of the wall in the back. During daytime, it is a shoji paper sliding door to bring in sunlight. During a no performance, the shoji is covered with wooden plates so that the sound of the accompaniments like the flute, osuzumi, otsuzumi, and taiko are kept within the room. We actually have had the chance to watch a no performance with this style that the daimyo enjoyed. We had a professional no performer teach us a lot about the art and show us the props used in the plays. So if you're interested in that, please go check out the video. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's an opening! This round dent on the wall also has a purpose. It is used as a scaffolding by the guards waiting on the upper floor to come down immediately in case of an emergency. <laughs> this is the toilet. How is this used? <laughs> Interesting! It's very creative to have a stand for the hem of the hakama. The room next door is the bathroom. In the Edo period, it was common for people to clean their body with sticks after staying in a steam bath. This bath is, however, the same as the bathtub today. You place hot coal inside the boiler next to the tub so that hot water flows from the holes into the tub, allowing the bath water to keep its temperature. <laughs> the next room is the waiting room for customers working with Ogawashi in the trading business. When the host, Ogawashi, is ready, the guest is led to the tea room next door. Usually, the entrance of tea rooms are low, forcing people to bow down. Even though in the Edo period, there was a strict social class system throughout Japan, it was common sense that people within the same tea room are all regarded as equals. However, Ogawashi had the thought that having the guest bow is inappropriate. This is why for this particular tea room, the entrance is designed to be at regular height. Wow, this is a really small room. Fascinating! You would place Husuma doors for creating a private space for discussing matters related to money. A hidden staircase! How cool is that? This mansion is designed so that it is difficult to find the stairs to the upper floor. Once you flee to the second floor, you can manage to escape from assaults. In case of emergency, Ogawashi would run upstairs using this hidden staircase and have his guards put the fake shelf back. さ、ここのとこ特に低いですよ。これ、低いてでもここのとこ高いのに急に動くなってるんで、向こうから来た夫はここのところでどうしても行く頭をね、ちょっと当てないようにこう下げてしまうんですよ。そして視線が下に行った
prison officers. So it is said that he would sometimes have requests for holding prisoners at this building. This is actually space for those people. This is not the actual room used, but it is a replica. Still, it's way too small and dark for a person. What do you think the theme is for the next room? The answer is a boat. This design was adopted as there is a small river flowing nearby. The step at the entrance of the room represents riding the boat, and the ceiling is a design of a Japanese houseboat. This window also has fireproof measures. Regularly, the shoji paper sliding doors are used. However, when there are fire sparks scattering, you flip the fire door on the other hand outwards. The next tea room is also unique with red walls. The Husuma doors of this tea room has drawings of post towns from Edo to Nagasaki. The post of the Tokonoma is also unique with a special pattern by scraping the surface. What is this pattern? うわ、2階からの景色もまたこれは。普通ここ開けるでしょ。うん。で、まずね。はい、これ剥がないんです、これ。鍵もこれかかってないな、開かないんです。開け、開け。こっちからです。こっちからスッと握れるようになってる。Wow, this is going to take time to notice the smaller side is the exit. This is used to buy time to flee from pursuers. The second floor is full of gimmicks to buy time for escaping. This staircase has a sliding door. If you close the sliding door and bar it, it cannot be opened from the upper floor. If you buy time at the fake door and then prevent this door from opening, you can basically stop the pursuers from coming downstairs. However, you may not have the time to bar the sliding door. In that case, you can pull it out just a little bit. Interesting. This will definitely stop whoever is chasing you. Apart from the staircase, there is another route for escaping. There is a storage above the stairway, but doesn't it seem a little inconvenient? Ogawa-san has made a miniature model for explaining. There's actually a hidden space in the far left of the storage. What's interesting is that when the pursuers come after you and open the storage door, the hiding space entrance automatically closes. Then how do you run inside? The key is to use the husma on your left. You can slide this to create space to help you. <laughs> so that's how you hide inside. The handle on the husma is on the storage side, so if you put the door to its original position, the pursuer won't have space to put their hands on. Therefore, people will only peek inside and won't come inside. So that was a quick walkthrough of the mansion. So we just got out of the Nijojinya. It was an amazing tour that Ogawa-san gave us. Yeah. First of all, I'd like to ask you two how it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. how was it for you, Toko? Yeah, it was very fun. It, it was like mm -hmm. a bunch of anime. Yeah, that's right, yeah. that's right. Especially I liked the hidden stairs. It was like magic, for magic, sure. Magic, yeah. How was it for you, Kaze? When I was looking at what, uh -huh. their website, it really showed like 
the main features of how to like these uh, hidden uh, emergency stairs and yeah, all those yeah, yeah, you know right. hidden doors and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But actually going inside, you can see those uh, little decorations. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. that that really got me. You know, not just for the uh, functionality, but also mm -hmm. for the fun. You know, for the beauty. Beauty of the And building. yeah, I just thought you know this whole mansion is like really because it's a hotel. You know, <laughs> it's designed to like make the guests really happy. Exactly, you know, relax. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, I thought that was really wonderful. That's right. Provide hospitality. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly. right. Now, as no theater trainee, I just seriously loved the no stage there, the room for that. Mm -hmm. I just really, really enjoyed looking at that. All the tricks were awesome, all the decorations and everything were really cool too. But the no theater there, I just personally especially love that part of the house. I hope you can actually come and enjoy it too. However, we did make one promise with Ogawa-san. Unfortunately, the people who work here at the facility do not speak any English. If you are actually willing to come here, you do need to bring a professional a translator, interpreter with you. That is just one promise we made with Ogawa-san, so I hope you understand. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help would mean a lot. And we'll see you in our next Kyoto Hidden Gems. I hope you enjoyed watching. Very sunny day today. Thank you so much.